Can you believe that this is the last Friday before Christmas? New Christmas Eve is on a Friday. So let that sink in for a minute. So I have a lot to do this morning or just today in general. We have to bake like four or five different cookies. We have to make that Makovitz from yesterday because the dough is now ready. And then we have to, uh, oh, I have to print off some shipping labels this morning for packages to the US. So I have to do that first thing. And then when we get back from walking Theo to school, I have to put away the produce box that already came. So yes, yes, busy, busy day. So, and then tonight we're going to the mall. I'm gonna get my eyebrows done and Theo's gonna get his hair cut. That's exciting. So, yes, busy, busy. Um, I still have no idea what I'm gonna do for dinner. So hopefully that comes up while <laughs> I'm making all these cookies. Um, and then tomorrow, B is working in the morning. Then we're heading over to see Santa and yeah, it's just gonna be, that's it, that's, that's really it. We're gonna go see Santa, we're gonna go um, walk around the place where, um, it's called Schneider's Farm. It's a local farm, and they usually do a lot of um, fall stuff. So they have a whole pumpkin farm, they do a whole uh, screen park type thing so we're curious to see how they decorated it for Christmas and to see Santa so that'll be really great definitely down to the wire here <laughs> um, and then Sunday we have a family dinner so that's why I'm making all these cookies right now is to bring them to that family dinner so yeah <laughs> kids love the cat kids love the cat um, so yes, I am going to finish my coffee and then we are going to head to school. So I will catch up with you later. Bye.
have cleaned the kitchen twice now, prepped one cookie, because I didn't read the instructions again. <laughs> those pfeffer nissen or nissen or what, pfeffer, whatever they call those. Um, eight hours in the fridge after you make them. It's not that bad. Um, but it means I can't make them till tomorrow. Because B will be home and I don't want him to see the cookies. So, yes, I combined all the ingredients. You got to let them sit in the fridge for all the flavors to do their thing. And then you bake them and then you coat them and then they're done. <laughs> it's not that bad. And then I showed you the Makovietz, which looks marvelous. I'm just waiting for it to finish rising. Pepper. I'm sorry. She's just like all over me here. <laughs> um... I am waiting to finish for them rising. I have a batch of, I have squares in the oven right now. So once they're done, the Makovets will go in. And then I don't know what else I'm making. I know I was going to make like a whole bunch, but I also don't know if I want to bring everything. Because then we will have no baking for the week for Christmas. So kind of rethinking things now. I have the Vienna squares, the Makovets, and fudge. I think that might be it that I'm going to bring. Yeah. Also, I'm just exhausted and I don't want to bake anymore. I'm going to make the Pfeffernusen tomorrow, and then we'll probably bring some of those as well. And then, really, I want to bake with the kids during the week. Give us something to do. Um, so I'm going to save the red velvet cookies for the week. Um, we're also going to make gingerbread cookies and decorate those during the week. And then we're also going to make, um, I don't remember what I asked me to get anymore. <laughs> what else we needed to make? Um, there's one more cookie. Oh, those thumbprint or jammy dodgers or something cookies. Yeah, we'll figure those out or a version of those and we'll make those for the week too. And that way we'll be super excited for Christmas and we'll have um, we'll have more stuff to do because Theo is off all week. So we need to keep busy and entertained and things like that. I bought him a new thing of Legos, so hopefully that'll keep him entertained and... That should be good. A pepper. Can you just stop? She's crazy right now. So Penny went down for a nap. I still have to do the video for yesterday. So I'm going to sit down and do that. Um, and then I have to post the sale today still. I know. I just started baking right away and then that was it. <laughs> and yeah. And look at that. Now she's just getting comfortable. You are just such a big skipper. You are just such a big stinker. There we go. So yes, lots to do still. Um, and I have to clean the whole kitchen. I'm so tired. <laughs> I haven't done that much baking in so long. I know it doesn't even like seem like a lot because the dough was done yesterday, but those Vienna squares take a bit too. I had to uh, make the dough. So that's the base. It's just flour, um, no, it's butter, sugar, egg yolk, and flour. And then you press that into a jelly roll pan. And then you bake that. And you take it out and you spread your jam and your chocolate chips all over it. And then you whip up um, meringue. I don't know what kind of meringue it is, but it is... Egg, it was like four egg yolks, egg whites, I mean, sorry, egg whites, four egg whites, and then some salt, and then once that foamy, you add in a cup of sugar, a tablespoon at a time, and then you toasted up some pecans that you chopped up finely, which I just threw in the blender because I wasn't doing that, and then you combine those, and then you put them on top, and then you bake it. 
and they're delicious. They're very, very tasty. It's just ugh, time consuming. Okay, enough chit chat. <laughs> Time to get to baking and cleaning and work. I will check in with you later. The Makovietz is done and it looks and smells amazing. I really wish I could send you the smell. Um, I sprinkled it with, or I poured rather, uh, icing sugar, royal icing. It's just powdered sugar and water. And then I sprinkled lemon zest, on, uh, orange zest on top. It calls for, um, candied orange peels, but I didn't want to make that and I don't want to buy it. So orange zest it is. I figured it'd be nice, punchier flavor, less sugary. And then I showed the Vienna squares. They still need to be cut up. And I put my thumb in them when I was pulling them out of the oven, but it's fine. Those will just be our pieces. <laughs> and then it made three. I'm gonna keep one for us because it just kind of bleh, <laughs> which is fine. But the dough rose so much that it just spilled out all the filling. And then I have two to choose from. And I think I might take the plumper one with us because there's gonna be two, four, seven, seven plus the kids of us. So probably the better choice to bring. So yes, I am gonna cut up the Vienna squares. I'm waiting for my computer to reboot because it was freezing on me. It's being funky and I hope it's okay and that it didn't lose anything. And then, yeah. Okay.